From about 2 million years ago until 13,000 years ago, there were several human species inhabiting the Earth. In fact, 100,000 years ago, there were at least 6 different human species. Today, there's just Homo sapiens. In this video, we're going to look at some of the key moments in our population growth and what the future looks like. Our species, Homo sapiens, first evolved about 200,000 years ago in East Africa and slowly started outcompeting our human cousins. And about 13,000 years ago, our final cousins were extinct. During the past 200,000 years, we've grown from one person to the 7.5 billion today. What has that population growth been like? There have been three key revolutions. The Cognitive Revolution about 70,000 years ago, the Agricultural Revolution 12,000 years ago, and the Scientific Revolution of the past 500 years all have been key players in global population. Homo sapiens population started the boom about 70,000 years ago, driving the other human species to extinction. Our ancestors conquered all corners of the earth and started inventing impressive objects. The most widely accepted explanation for our ancestors' rapid success is a huge improvement in our language abilities and therefore communication and ability to share information. 12,000 years ago, at the dawn of agriculture, there were about 5 million people alive. Our ancestors started farming some plant and animal species to provide them with a reliable supply of energy. And this changed how we lived. People settled permanently around the fields and populations began to grow much more quickly than ever before. We took 2 million years to reach 5 million people and then 10,000 years to reach 1 billion people and that's nothing compared to what was to come. Welcome to the science revolution. 200 years ago the global population was about 1 billion people. Now we're at a huge 7.5 billion today. And still, every year there are 83 million more people living on this planet. That's the population of the entire of Germany. So what's happened in the last few hundred years to enable this rapid population growth? It started with a further agricultural revolution in Europe in the 1700s and then the industrial revolution of the 1800s. The invention of the steam engine increased food production, better employment rates and wages, improved quality of healthcare and standards of living have enabled a massive population boom. In simple terms, because there was more food and clean water to go around, less disease and better medical care for the sick, it meant fewer people died. People that would otherwise have died survived, increasing the population. They then had children themselves, further increasing the population, and so the story goes on. So what next? We're expected to be over 11 billion by the year 2100, but the truth is nobody is certain. To support the growing population, the world's economy is expected to triple in size in this century alone. All of this is a massive challenge for the Earth's natural resources, biomes and wildlife. Population could continue to grow at its current rate, creating a world population of over 10 billion in the next 30 years. For this to happen, there needs to be enough food, water, shelter and the hygiene and medical care is good. Or maybe global population decreases. There might be insufficient resources to share. Maybe food and water become scarce, or not enough housing for everyone, or medical care that prevents diseases and saves lives may not be available to everyone. Maybe our irresponsible use of antibiotics today could result in a global epidemic in the near future. Or our human-induced climate change could result in serious drought or damaging floods, thus bringing famine or disease with it. So this all sounds rather scary considering 2050 will probably be in most of your lifetimes. Before you start panicking and stockpiling food and medicines like you're in a zombie movie, remember, even the experts aren't sure. We just don't know what's going to happen. All we do know is the Earth's population will change over the coming decades. To learn about the impacts of humans on our planet and how we can develop and grow in a sustainable way, watch these videos. And with a growing population, food security is and will continue to be an important issue, which we investigate further in this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.
Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.